Hey what's up you guys, today I'm going to show you how I did these robotic cuts. Once again we are starting off with good old liquid latex and with a brush that you do not care about ruining, map out where you want the cut to be. You want it to be about half a centimeter to a centimeter bigger than where you're actually going to be cutting it. When the layer is completely dry, do about another three or four layers on top so we have a nice thick kind of skin coating. <laughs> and each layer you want to be slightly bigger than the last so that it blends smoothly onto your skin rather than just kind of jutting up. Since we're doing a robot cut, we don't want the skin to look like real organic human skin. We want it to look kind of like a plastic coating that looks really, really lifelike. So before you do anything, make sure that the latex is completely, completely dry so we get that plastic look. So next, just stipple a layer of foundation onto the latex and this will help to make it look more like your skin colour. Using tweezers or scissors, just make an incision into the centre of the latex and just pull it around until you get a hole as big as you want it to be. When it's about the right size, cut around the edges to make it neat or do what I did and just pull it towards the center so it kind of snaps away smoothly. To create the robot arm underneath, start off with some silver paint and painting the entire hole as well as kind of getting it under the little skin flaps. Now with a black body paint, create just some lines and these will be kind of like the plates of the arm and then create some little circles with lines through them and these will be the bolts. On the same side of each plate, create a shadow by just smudging some black paint out And for the highlight, just grab some white paint and put it in the center of each plate and just blend it out with your finger or a brush. And it's really as easy as that. That's the end of the tutorial. If you wish, you can put some blood around the cut, which adds a bit more of a dramatic effect. If you're wondering how I got the brownie kind of colored blood in my Instagram picture, what I did was mix blue food dye in with the blood and I think this gives it more of like a battery acid like I don't know I think it just suits the cyborg look a little bit more so if you wish to do that just mix some food dye in with your fake blood.